Oh, hi, babes. I was setting up my camera and I realized because I have this orange wall, it kind of looks like I'm in the fiery depths of hell right now, which is totally okay with me, especially since this video is sort of gonna be about people who should be in the fiery depths of hell. I'm talking about the shit stains who harass women on the street. I started experiencing street harassment from men when I was about 13 years old. At first, I thought it was cool. I was like, oh yeah, I'm fly, what? Then it happened again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. And by the like 20th time that this has happened, I realized a few things. One, it only happened when I was alone or with other women. Two, it didn't matter what I was wearing. I thought, hey, maybe if I look like shit, they'll leave me alone. Wrong. I also realized that it happened to every single woman that I know. When I say street harassment, I'm talking about cat calls. Looking good, girl. So fine. You look really nice. Damn. Mm, mm, mm. Unwanted sexual advances. I tap that. Hard to kill, girl. You got some nice titties. Getting in my space. Hey, girl, how's it going? What you up to? Where are you going? Making rude gestures. Whistling, honking, you get the idea, right? Last week I was walking home from work and some dude decided that it would be totally appropriate to follow me for three blocks. Hey girl, where you going? Hey girl, why won't you look at me? Hey girl, are you available? Eventually I whipped around and told him that I was available to punch him in the fucking face if he doesn't leave me alone. Whoa, girl, calm down. I just want to give you a compliment. Where the fuck did you learn to compliment someone? The blaringly obvious fact that this guy doesn't seem to realize is that what he's doing is completely creepy. Well, that is, until he experiences it himself. In the same breath that one of these guys will holler at women on the streets, they'll turn around and be totally freaked out about a gay guy hitting on them at a bar. <sighs> yeah. I feel dread, especially if I'm trapped with him, like in a bus. If I'm alone, I might feel fear. This guy clearly has no decency. Of course there's a red flag going off in the back of my mind, but if he assaults me and I feel angry, <sighs> why is it that just walking down the street, minding my own business, opens me up to all of these unsolicited comments from strangers about my body? A couple years ago, I had another incident where I went off on a dude who was harassing me at a gas station. I told him to fuck off and he laughed. <laughs> You're pretty cute when you're mad. That moment was pivotal for me because I realized I'm not a person to this guy. I'm not a human being who's giving a clear back off signal. No, I was a cute thing, an object for him to look at, to poke and prod at for his own pleasure. These guys think it's okay because they objectify and disrespect women. Trying to put me in my place, deciding where I will and won't feel safe and comfortable. And guess what, dude bros? That's called misogyny. So how can you respond if you're being harassed in the street? Here are a few options. You could return the favor. Oh, baby, you're so sexy. Oh, wanna get with me? Come get it, baby. Come get it. You give him the stink eye. La, la, la. What'd he say? <laughs> What'd you say to me? Faux flattery. Oh my God, are you talking to me? You think I'm sexy? Oh my God, I waited my whole life for this moment. You could tell him off. Hey, asshole, fuck off. I'm a creep. Creeps hate being called creeps. Ugh, you're a creep. You can sass their ass. I think you missed the part where nobody asked your fucking opinion. Oh my god, you're like one of those guys who totally cat calls and treats women like shit. Or you could kick their ass. Bro, do you even lift? Don't ever respond in a way that you think will jeopardize your safety. That's the most important thing. But then after that, you gotta do what's gonna help you feel and maintain control. When I respond, I'm very firm and I walk away right after. Don't engage or have a conversation with them. It's really important to sort of be conscientious about the experiences of people that you're talking to on the street. The proper way to handle seeing an attractive woman in public is to keep your thoughts to yourself. Don't holler at women who are on the street. Don't give them compliments, no matter how nice or innocent they feel to you, you don't want to make people feel uncomfortable, right? And if you're not one of these douchebags, call those guys out. Hey dude, what are you doing? She's not a dog. She is a human being. Then go ponder the bizarre world that we live in. <sighs> At some point you just, you get tired, you know? You get tired of dealing with it. So thanks for watching y'all. I'll be back with a new video very soon. Mwah. Mom, oh. What?